If you've got a leak in your vinyl liner pool, the good news is you won't need to drain out any of the water to fix it, but you'll need to work fast to stop things from getting worse. So here's how to patch and repair your pool's vinyl liner. Let's dive in. Real quick, if you want more help taking care of your pool, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's totally free and will help you keep your pool clean and clear all season long. First, you should not drain your pool to repair your liner. Draining your pool even a little can damage your vinyl liner. If your liner dries out and gets exposed to the sun's UV rays, it can become brittle and wrinkled and cause more problems than you already have. And draining out too much water of an above ground pool can cause the walls to collapse. But if the hole in your liner is already exposed, you can repair it while it's dry. Okay, so here's how to patch and repair a vinyl liner. Step one, find the leak. If you haven't already done so, find the tear or puncture in your liner. The most effective way to find a leak is to use a leak finder die. But what if you're not 100% sure that you even have a leak or a hole in your pool liner? Well, there are a few tests that you can run. So be sure to check out our other video on pool leak detection. Step two, decide if the vinyl liner is worth repairing. Depending on what shape your liner is in, it might be time to replace the entire thing. The older your liner, the thinner it will be and the more likely it will spring leaks in the future. Even a good quality vinyl patch will only hold for a few years. And the bigger the tear, the more likely the patch will snag and peel over time. Also, keep in mind that areas close to the stairs or near your pool's fittings are under more stress, so patches won't hold up as well there. Step three, stop the leak temporarily. Seal up the hole while you gather the rest of your repair supplies. Use duct tape or ideally waterproof tape. Waterproof tape is resistant to UV rays and holds up better in water, but duct tape will work too if that's all you have on hand. Step four, buy a vinyl patch and repair kit. Vinyl repair kits come with large pieces of blue or clear liner and special underwater vinyl adhesive. Heel and stick patches, on the other hand, are pre-cut vinyl pieces specifically made for pools. They're less expensive and easier to use than repair kits, but they won't last as long and they won't work for larger tears or punctures. Step five, clean the area around the tear or puncture. Algae, sunscreen, or anything stuck to your pool wall will make it harder for the patch to adhere. Remove the temporary tape and use the non-abrasive pad to gently clean the vinyl around the hole. Be sure not to scrub or make the hole any bigger. Then trim the vinyl patch. Cut the piece of vinyl at least two inches larger than the tear in your liner. And be sure to round the edges so that your patch is a circle or an oval. This will help prevent it from snagging or peeling. Step seven, apply adhesive to the patch. Apply adhesive all the way to the edges of the vinyl patch. Then fold the patch in half like a taco with the adhesive on the inside. This will make it easier to maneuver underwater. Step eight, stick on the patch. Depending on where your tear is located, you may need to dive into the pool for this part. And you'll need to hold the patch in place, so you may need goggles and a snorkel. Start by submerging the patch, hold the patch over the hole and unfold the taco. Place it slowly over the hole while smoothing it onto the pool liner. Press out any air bubbles and hold it in place for two minutes. The adhesive needs time to cure, so don't pull at the patch once it's been placed. Step nine, add weight on top of the patch. If your patch is located on your pool wall, you won't be able to add any weight on top. But if your patch is towards the bottom of your pool, place a weight on top of it. You can use a pool cleaner head or a brick or rock wrapped in a large plastic bag. Whatever you do, just don't cause any new rips. And that's it. If you need any more help with pool maintenance, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe for more pool maintenance tutorials throughout the season. That's it. Thanks again, and happy swimming.